Hello and welcome to yet another heads up. Uh, that's a bit of a heavy re-race, so we'll see what this guy's l this guy loves to do. Uh, anyway, it was Jack Do, so I obviously don't want to play that. Uh, he just calls. He doesn't three bets. That's fine. Uh, we have a gut shot, and he overbets the pots. Leads out into me. Wow, this guy seems to be over aggressive and actually not knowing what to do. Um, so here he just makes a min race. We actually hit two pairs. So if he leads out this time, we're gonna re-raise him. Uh, we're gonna go to 240. Show some aggression. I'm willing to go all in here. I mean, come on. We have top two. And he falls for once. But I mean, this is why you don't play aggressive. Uh, when your opponent does make a hand, he gets paid off easily. Because of the way you play. So here I will bet, obviously, I have bottom pair. Uh, see what he does. And he falls, so he is giving up part of his aggression. Uh, we have an ace, but we'll just check it to him. Um, we miss, and he should see bet, which he does. He see bet spot size, though. Which is odd. Uh, we make the standard raise on the dealer button. He re raises, but we call. Uh, we hit the 7, only a 4 beats us or an over pair. Uh, so let's raise to 240 and see what he does. He actually shoves here. This is really curious. Um, I'm not willing to go all in here already. Um, we can basically flop the nuts against this guy and get get his entire stack because he is over aggressive people I mean such a dangerous board you either have it there and he has nothing why does it check here all the time he just has nothing okay that's fine um, that was so over aggressive for him even for an aggressive player like him that he probably had it I mean um, let's race to 80 I mean we want to um, we have the flush draw, and yeah, this time he falls, so he really is hyper aggressive. Uh, we re raise out of position and we flop nothing. He doesn't know that though, so let's bet 55. He calls. Um, there's an 8, so now a lot of things get there, so let's bet again and see what he does. I mean, on the flop, he's just, yeah, yeah, we're giving this up. Um, it's a way too dangerous board. Uh, he seems like a decent player, just a bit too aggressive in my opinion. Oh, especially if he leads out here again. He doesn't... Um, we'll check once. I mean the 7 not going to change anything. If he checks, we'll bet. And he's probably going to re-raise me because I think he actually has a hand. Because um, he waited a while twice. Um, he should check re-raise here and I will fold, but he falls in set. So it's odd, sometimes he plays really aggressive, sometimes he just doesn't. Uh, like here, he just limps. Why do you just limp here? Um, he checks twice, that's fine. Uh, I pair my sevens and I should win this button. Yep. 7-3 on the button, I always mean raise. Uh, we hit our 7, so we have middle pair, which is fine. Um, let's go to 160. I don't get why he leads out pot size here. Uh, he probably has a flash draw or something. I'm willing to call here. And then an ace comes. Uh, it's really a scare card, so if he shoves here, I'm gone. Uh, this is annoying. I mean, 320 seems like such a value bet. Uh, 10 has me beat, flash draw got there. Even an ace high got there. Um, so I have to fold. I obviously call king 6. Uh, we miss so we'll fold to the c bet. But he checks to me. Um, yeah, we will fold there. I mean this guy, his bet sizing is really weird. Uh, it's over aggressive. Uh, we got bottom pair. So we'll bet 55. And he falls. So sometimes he does fault, right? 10-7, uh, see what he does. Uh, let's just check then. We got bottom pair, but such a dangerous board. 
um, Jack King is there, Jack 8 is there um, we'll call once, see what it does, uh, check we'll probably call a small bet, uh, but we have this yep, we do King Queen willing to go all in here um, we miss and he leads out into me again I have no clue why this guy does this so often but that's fine for me for now uh, Jack 5 but I can check it so uh, we hit the 5 I'm gonna lead out against him if he shoves me it's fine um, he just makes the call so let's bet 75 this time he makes the call and then an 8 comes so an 8 has me beat but um, that's life, right? Uh, backdoor flush also has me beat. And he di did have the 9. Oh my god, this guy just outlapped me. Uh, 10 deuce. Obviously not a great hand, but I'm gonna give it up there. I'm gonna shove any ace, obviously. Four six. he should make a mean raise. He over-raises insanely high. Um, so yeah, we'll shove here. We obviously have king queen. He has the ace, so we have to get lucky. He hits the ace. We have to hit the jack, and we do. Um, yeah, I got lucky there. Jack four. Obviously, gonna give that up if he is gonna make any insane stupid bet again. Uh, he doesn't, and we just give up this hand here. We saw a free flop, and we saw another free card. I think he's trapping maybe. Yeah, man. I'm not gonna. Oh, I checked to you three times. <laughs> uh, king six. Uh, yeah, we have king high. So, and he has the ace yet again. So he is ace, and we have no outs. Nope. Uh, so GG. We take our very first loss. So, I cut down. What's the issue with this? I mean, I have to adjust my screen region every time. I just can't close it for an outro. I really have to see what the issue is with that. So basically we lose our very first heads up, but uh, it has been a good run and I'll see you in the future.